because she refused to donate her kidney to her sister. The 11-year-old went into a lawyer's office and filed a lawsuit against her biological parents. The file clearly states that in the past 11 years, Anna has been hospitalized eight times, six times for catheterization, twice for bone marrow donation, twice for liver cell extraction, and she is also given regular painkillers and hormone injections. She never had a choice because her parents authorized all these procedures, and it was her own sister, Kate. Who caused all this? Before Anami was born, her sister Kate was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of three. Doctors told her mother, Sarah, that none of the family's leukocyte antigens matched Kate's and that there was no one else in the country who could treat her. On the advice of the doctors, the couple used genetic matching to give birth to Anna, a little girl with the same chromosomes as Kate. Ever since Anna was born, she's had to provide her sister Kate with whatever she needs. Whether it's umbilical cord blood or bone marrow stem cells, no one ever asked her if she wanted to do it. After all, she was only hurting and her sister was saving lives. With Anna's supply, Kate miraculously survived for 11 years. But as the years went by, Kate's condition worsened. Her kidneys were failing and the only way out was for Anna, the organ bank, to give her another kidney. But this time, the ever-obedient Anna refused and took her parents to court with a lawsuit. A few days later, her mother, Sarah, received a summons in the hospital. As a lawyer, she knew what this meant. Her emotions changed from surprise to anger and disbelief in her eyes. She couldn't understand how Anna could have chosen to watch her sister die. In the evening, the father called a family meeting. At the meeting, the mother continued to denounce her daughter's selfishness. Your sister is suffering now. I did my best to take care of her and all I got was a complaint from you. The father was caught between a rock and a hard place. He knew the kidney transplant was unfair to Anna, but he couldn't watch his oldest daughter, Kate die in the hospital, and all Anna wanted was to live like a normal person. A missing kidney wouldn't kill him, but he wouldn't be able to see or feel the world properly. He can't exercise, he can't drink, he can't even get pregnant. Mother, you've always emphasized my bond with my sister. Am I just an organ bank for your sister to use at any time? Father didn't say much, but he understood Anna better than his wife. In the end, the situation is all their fault. He and his wife had been unfair to Anna all these years. Now he decided to respect Anna's grown-up mind.